when you have a dead suburban property, dead mall, dying office park, any of these things, there basically are three strategies. You want to either redevelop it into a more compact, walkable urban place, re-inhabit it with a more community serving use, or re-green it and repair the, the ecology. For instance, if we have an empty mall, if you're in a strong market where there's people, a lot of people moving in, lots of jobs, uh, but the mall is dying, that's a great opportunity to demolish most of the mall, put in a street grid, connect it as much as possible to the existing streets, and build a mixed use neighborhood. Get a main street, get a bunch of different housing types for big, bigger uses, condos, apartments, townhouses, tall buildings, short buildings, all of the above. Uh, and some pu great public spaces, hardscape, green space, all of the above. Um, then, but and many times, if the reason the mall died is n really because the jobs that used to support that mall the, and the middle class were outsourced and have left, have died, and so there's really not a strong market, then it makes more sense to re-inhabit that box with more community serving uses. And we actually see a surprising number of jobs, office work goes into dead malls. It's pretty easy to just get out a chainsaw and cut a window through the concrete block wall, put in some carpeting, you've got great office space. Uh, or healthcare and education. Uh, there's a great example I love down in Austin, Texas, where a community college took over the mall and then partnered with a developer who's building housing and office on the parking lots and he's even giving the, he puts into the leases for the offices that they have to hire a certain number of interns from the community college and they've got a couple of green they've re-greened some parts of the parking lot in part to honor a former in um, encampment of freed slaves that used to be on, right on that site. They have a tra new transit station right at the site. I mean, it's just great. Uh, so that re-inhabitation uh, is, is, is really important. But the third strategy, re-greening, frankly doesn't happen often enough, but that's really when we get to repair the ecology and you know create the, whether it's stormwater parks or putting in community gardens uh, sometimes in a few cases we've actually been you know reconstructing the wetlands because especially with more and more severe storms we need them